How are these players so underrated? The NBA always has players that seem to fly under the radar, despite phenomenal on-court performances year after year. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about underrated players, but more specifically underrated players from Europe. There's a lot of talent out there that we think deserves to be recognized, so let's get right into it. Number 10. Jonas Valanciunas the now New Orleans Pelicans center has long been a force in this league. Getting drafted in 2012 by the Toronto Raptors, he started his career as an excellent bench player. Since bouncing to a few different teams, his play has drastically improved and he's put up incredible stats over his last few years. Number 9. Danilo Gallinari Gallinari has been in this league for a long time now, and it seems like he's always contributing to whatever team he's on. He started his career off pretty rough with a lot of injuries, even missing a whole season at one point. The last five years, though, he's been solid for the Los Angeles Clippers, Oklahoma City, and now the Atlanta Hawks. He has career averages of 15.7 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. Not bad numbers for a guy who's never been considered a star in the league. Number 8. Nikola Vucevic Nikola is most known for his long stint with the Orlando Magic, a good run in which he reinvented himself. Now that he's on the Chicago Bulls, his lack of defensive ability has started to shine through. However, his offense and rebounding have been better than ever. Over his career, Vucevic averages 16.8 points, 10.4 rebounds, and 2.7 assists per game. He's a solid three-point shooter and spaces the floor very well for a man of his stature. Number 7. Bogdan Bogdanovich Ironically, Bogdan is on the Hawks right now, the same team as Gallinari. It may not seem like Bogdanovich has been in the league long enough to get placed at number 7, but he's been around longer than you might think. He played in Turkey's Pro League for 5 years before entering the NBA, coming into the league at 25 years old. He was a solid starter for the Sacramento Kings for 3 years before going over to the Hawks. Injuries have slowed him down the last 3 seasons and his stats aren't incredible, averaging just 13.8 points a game, but man, when he gets going, he can beat one of the hottest shooters in the NBA. Number 6. Ricky Rubio Rubio played for Spain's professional league for two years before coming into the league. He had ridiculously high expectations that really never panned out, but he proved to be a phenomenal leader who can facilitate an offense. He helped the Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns make nice playoff runs, and he made the Minnesota Timberwolves look competitive at times in previous years. Now he's with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and he was having a career year before he unfortunately tore his ACL. Coming off the bench, Rubio was averaging 13.1 points, 4.1 one rebounds and 6.6 .6 assists per game for the Cavs. Number 5. Goran Dragic Dragic isn't really doing much of anything this season after getting sent to the Toronto Raptors. He practically refused to play for them and has only appeared in five games. Still, the longtime point guard has been great everywhere in limited roles. He averages 13.9 points, 3.1 rebounds, and 4.8 assists over his career, but it's really his leadership that gets overlooked when talking about his game. Number 4. Kristaps Porzingis Let's be real here, guys. Porzingis really needs to hit the weight room. In fact, it's really weird that he seems to refuse to play in the paint and that for a dude his size, he can't defend the rim much at all. But we can't ignore what he does well, too. He averages 18.8 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 1.5 assists per game over his career, and he's got no problem taking three-point shots from pretty much near half court. The unicorn has grown a lot in recent years, and he really just has to start getting more physical. Hey, maybe Maybe if Porzingis was subscribed to our YouTube channel, he'd be able to defend the rim a little bit better. I think if you guys subscribe to our channel right now, you might be able to body Porzingis in the paint yourself. Alright, moving on to number 3, we've got Tony Kukoc. Kukoc is often talked about when looking at the historic Chicago Bulls team featuring Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Dennis Rodman, although not many really dive into his numbers. He won three NBA championships and shot 44.7% from the field over his career. On top of that, his numbers were 11.6 points and 4.2 rebounds on a team that had three Hall of Famers on it. He always seemed to rise to the occasion when called upon, and he was a spark whenever that team needed it. Kukoc was a super underrated performer. At number 2, Detlef Schrempf 
Schrempf is long retired but played in the league 16 seasons. He was a three-time All-Star, a two-time Sixth Man of the Year winner, and even made an All-NBA team. The forward also held career averages of 13.9 points and 6.2 rebounds per contest. It's honestly a shock that his name isn't brought up more often when we talk about the best European players of all time. His accolades and numbers prove that he's more than deserving of at least a mention. And finally, at number one, it's the legend Arvidas Zabonis. Sabonis played out his whole career as a member of the Portland Trailblazers. He was a leader of the team and has since been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, his career was abruptly halted due to injuries, but it didn't stop him from averaging 12 points and 7.3 rebounds a game throughout his career. Hey, that does it for this video on the top 10 most underrated European players in the NBA. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the top 10 players who lost guarantees in their contracts.